Hi everyone, it's Felicia. So this week we're continuing our dialogue that is companioning my upcoming conference in Nashville called Change Your Self, Change Your World, The Yoga of Action. And I talk about the four principles of a spiritual warrior. So these are individuals who are seeking to change the world through self-realization, through bringing more light, love, compassion, peace, faith, equanimity, courage, all the great things of a spiritual warrior. And this week we're talking about the role of compassion. So we've talked about our power of faith, faith, the ability to see things that aren't there yet and having a lot of conviction about that and enough courage to take a step towards that. So compassion is a little more introspective in the way that I plan on teaching this and the way that I understand it. Compassion is also a word, karuna, which means compassion with action and this is the kind of compassion I'm speaking about. A lot of people that I know confuse the word compassion with the word of sympathy. And I see these as two distinct things. Sympathy is when we feel bad for someone. We tend to get around those kind of things and then we end up actually feeling bad about things within ourselves. This is where we tend to kind of reminisce when we're with somebody, let's say we have a friend that's going through a divorce and we recall the time when we were also in struggle and it brings up all of those sadness and the pain and difficulty that we went through. And before you know it, you both are kind of in a, both of you are not much better than when you were, when you started the conversation. The compassionate conversation would acknowledge the suffering somebody's going through, but would offer instead insight, steps to change. It would offer a way to come up out of those things. So in that dialogue, well, what I would refer to somebody is the way back to peace. So if I was going and talking to my friend who was going through a difficult divorce, I would offer her that she isn't lost, that there is more coming in her life, that right now is the time that she needed to take care of herself in new ways because compassion is really the way that we end our suffering. Pain is inevitable in life. We're gonna go through difficult experiences, but when we carry that pain and it becomes a part of our cells, becomes a part of our belief system, it becomes a piece of our heart, now it's suffering. And I say compassion is an energy that exists here and suffering is here. And the person of compassion and action would provide such a space that it would lift that person up out of it. So compassion doesn't lower itself, it actually uplifts. Think of somebody like the Dalai Lama and he is in Buddhism said to be the embodiment of Avalokitesvara, which is the deity of compassion. And when you're around the Dalai Lama, you don't feel lower. You feel raised up. I actually came into contact with him in New Orleans years ago and I've never felt a vibration like that. It filled my body with such a level of compassion that my heart, I felt it explode in a new way. And it actually even changed me to want to come back and teach even more people to help more people to end their suffering through my role as a healer. You know, compassion was the first thing I had to learn on my path. I had been through so much difficulty, and I talk about that in my book on common faith. And compassion was the means to relieve the anger, to let go of the trauma, the worry, the pain that I was carrying and suffering with every day. So much so it was in my body. I was in depression, debilitating pain, and just no relief at all. Compassion was the antidote toward that. I'm going to share with you the mantra of compassion in Buddhism and it says may I have compassion for myself and all beings and it's Om Mani Padme Hum. So as we finish today what I would offer you this week is to look at the ways and means that you can bring yourself out of suffering. So if you are one that worries a lot break that cycle. Do something about that thing you're worrying about. It Don't just worry about it. Do something. Change it. Right? If you're something in your health and you're worried and suffering in your body, do something. Schedule yourself a healing session. Energy work is really profound in healing old wounds. Do anything that takes care of you. Have a sense of compassion first for yourself. So as you go through this week, Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. And this is a mantra that says, may the compassion within me be pulled out, shared, and given to the world. May there be compassion for myself and all beings, right? So let your actions be of compassion this week, the way to uplift somebody out of suffering. Don't go down in the pits with people. Lift them up out of there. Have the best week. Om Mani Padme Hum. May compassion flow through every breath, every thought, and every layer of your being today and always. Om Mani Padme Hum.